so my buddy just picked up another little uh, 50s, 50s or 60s, I don't know. And played a little bit more than my one has. My one is perfect, 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 but this one's a bit more dirty. So this one's played a bit more, you can see. The natural wearing finger patterns. It's not been played a lot, a lot, but it's been played. Anyway, yeah, it's just a 50s tribute model. It's nearly exactly the same as mine, except this one's got humbuckers and mine has P90s. So the bridge is the same, all that. It's the same, except mine didn't have a pickguard, and this one does. So that there's mine. I've already started accessorizing mine. So we're going to make a couple of changes to his. He wants to do the same business with the maple cap, so we'll get that going for him. But also, I think, personally, that's going to look a hell of a lot better. Uh, so we're going to put these pickup covers on there, and yeah, that'll be it. Put a new set of strings on it, and yeah, maybe we'll take a closer look at how I how I did this. Because I know a number of you had questions about how I got such a clean, uh, a clean straight edge, and... A few of you also commented about how <laughs> you wouldn't have had the guts to try that yourself. Honestly, it wasn't that hard. It really wasn't. The key, there are a couple of small keys. I just took this from watching other people on YouTube do not the same thing with like a maple cap, but with, with real binding. So I'll set you up and see if I can show you like exactly how I achieved that. And then I'll, I won't film this whole thing like I did with the other one, but I'll show you just a few little, like how, how I achieved what I achieved, because it's not that hard. The first thing is that I'm starting with a brand new, fresh, clean blade. So just clean the oil off them. And then what I did with the last one was I just put a bit of tape over it, just mostly so I don't actually cut myself with the damn thing. It wasn't like as a depth gauge or anything like that. And the other thing that you don't see in my videos that I actually also came around and smoothed out the edges after I was done with a bit of sandpaper. Uh, just a little bit of 400 grit. But it looks perfect. And this was not hard to do. Okay. So yeah, I just put a little bit of electrical tape on it. Not as a depth gauge, but just so I can hold it without cutting my fingers. Now, I have to admit that I was sort of feeling my way around when I started this, but I, what I figured out was that I needed to break the... To get a nice clean edge, I needed to break... Like, to get the paint going. Because once you got it cut down in one place, like, if you've ever scraped paint off something, you'll know what I mean. Like, once you get a little bit going, then it, the rest of it becomes easier. So what I wanted to, what I ended up doing is coming into the corner and then just breaking this edge, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna come into this edge and basically break that edge. Just get right into the corner. And then just take long strokes. And if you're starting to get chatter going one way, go the other. Like if your blade starts skipping, that's what I mean by chatter, and you'll feel it, just go in the other direction. So if you could start to get chatter, you're going to start to dig into the, into the wood.
All right, there we go. All done. Chrome pickup covers. A little bit of exposed binding, just like on mine. And away we go. So there we go.